Hi, I'm Natasha. And I'm Juliana. Come and watch us make some healthy eats. Inspired by our favorite films and television shows. Welcome to Cinema and Spice. Butterbeer is a favorite amongst the students at Hogwarts, so we're making our magical butterbeer cupcakes butterscotch flavored, because actually butterbeer and butterscotch have the same flavors. And we're going to do a meringue topping. First thing we're going to do is make our butterscotch filling. Butterscotch is just a combination of sugar and brown sugar, so we're gonna do this on the cooktop. We have a medium flame going on here. You wanna melt your butter, and when your butter is melted, add your brown sugar. Now that your ingredients are well combined, it's time to add them to your sugar. Give that a good stir. I like that. So you're gonna mix all of your ingredients in the bowl until it becomes sort of a thick paste, which is when your butterscotch is ready for piping. As you can see here, we do not have a piping bag. We have a MacGyvered version, where we basically took a tip for piping and we put it into a Ziploc bag. Would you care to do oh, the honors? Sure. Oh, ah! <laughs> nice. Kind of hard to do. This is quite the technique Why you've got there. Once you've got your butterscotch in the bag, it's time to do your piping, which is very fun. You need no fancy tools other than your fingers. Just insert your finger into the top of the cupcake. If you want to be a little bit more sanitary, you can also use a melon baller, but this works really, really well and you need no additional tools. And it's more fun. Plus, you've washed your hands, right? I love cupcakes that have a surprise in the middle. Right, like a hostess? Uh-huh, it's kind of magical, right? Oh. I have a surprise too. What yes. You brought with me a golden snit. A oh, snit. Are we gonna go play Quidditch after we're done? Oh, this one looks pretty bad. It's been beat it's a up. A little bit sad looking. His <laughs> wings don't do much. But did you know that in order to come up with the name Quidditch, J.K. Rowling wrote five full pages of keywords before she came up with that name? Five full pages. We only did like one page of words to come up with cinnamon spice. I would like to see that five page list. Right. Now that we have our centers, we are going to make our topping for our cupcakes. The type of meringue that we're doing is a Swiss meringue, which is going to be cooked over a double boiler on a simmer. And we're using this particular type of meringue because it's the most marshmallowy, so it makes a really nice top. We start with granulated sugar and a fourth cup of water. We're gonna add a fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. This denatures the egg whites so that you form your stiff peaks. And lastly, three egg whites. We're separating the whites first into a small ramekin to ensure that we don't get any of the yolk into the meringue. The fat from the yolk will not allow for the meringue to rise. We've got all of our ingredients in the bowl ready to go. You wanna make a double boiler on your stove top, put some water in, but make sure it's not so much that it touches the bottom of your bowl or you'll have cooked eggs. Nobody wants that. Mm -mm. Are you ready? Yeah. It's time to meringue. So you'll use a hand beater and whip it up for 15 minutes, so be patient. It will work. We have our beautiful meringue. Oh, it looks it so looks good and fluffy. Awesome. I wish you guys could see it better. Last scoop. Ooh. And we're ready for piping. You wanna work the fluff into the bottom of the bag. Oh! And Beautiful. Gently form your top. You can make it as tall as you want, or if you want less fluff, make it a little bit smaller. I have a funny story about what was Rupert Grint's most embarrassing moment when he was on set for Harry Potter. Uh huh. He was drawing a mean picture of Alan Rickman, who plays Snape. Love him. And Alan Rickman walks up behind him and sees him drawing it and totally embarrasses him. Oh, the poor guy. I would be really frightened. Well, I mean, come him. on. Snape is so scary. He is a scary He's man. Awesome, though. And a very talented one. We're going to put these in the fridge for 10 minutes to let the meringue firm up, and then we're going to finish them. Our cupcakes are out of the refrigerator, and now it's time to drizzle them with chocolate. Watch this. Cupcakes decoratum! Drizzleless chocolatus! <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not really under Oh man! I know I had you going for a second, didn't I? I guess I'm going back to Hogwarts then. Oh, yeah. Don't be so hard on yourself, you can put sprinkles on them. We're topping them with some edible gold stars. And I think we're ready. Ooh, <laughs> it's like magic! It's like fairy dust. And I think we're ready to taste. <laughs> to our Harry Potter movie party. Bink. And our friends enjoying all of our desserts. Mmm. Mmm. 
The meringue on top tastes like the best marshmallow you've ever had. And the butterbeer center is so good. All love it. So we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.